Hello everybody, my name is Tom Burns, and uh, as you probably saw earlier today, I uh, kind of reacted and gave my thoughts on the whole Roman Reigns thing. Um, the whole Roman Reigns leukemia, you know, heart breaking news that he dropped at the start of Raw. And this was going to be my WWE review, the Raw review for this week, but out of respect for Roman Reigns and out of respect for what went down. I'm not going to do a WWE review this week. Now, some of you might find that stupid. Oh, you know, it's not disrespectful to do a WWE review because, you know, what happened with Reigns. But I don't feel up to it because I'm still kind of reading from what was said and what has happened. So I'm not going to do a WWE review this week. But I'm going to make this video because I just want to talk about it a little bit more. Um, you know, the Roman Reigns, you know, leukemia battle. Um, it's not going to be that long of a video, but I wanted to make a video just to kind of explain that I'm not doing a WWE review this week, and I didn't just not want to do a WWE review because you might think, oh, you can't be asked again. So I just wanted to do this video. It's a very quick video. It's not going to be very long. Um, I, as I said, I'm still reading from what was said, um, you know, at the start of Raw. Uh, I've watched the whole of Raw since, you know, I've seen the numbers heel turn and stuff like that, which is really confusing, but as I said, I'm not doing a WWE review, so I'm not really going to uh, talk about it, but one thing I will talk about is, well, I am going to talk about the Dean numbers heel turn, because I'm absolutely disgusted with WWE, to the point that I'm very close to not watching WWE anymore, and I've not felt that way ever, because I've been a consistent WWE watcher since the end of the 1990s. So, the reason why I'm disgusted with WWE is simple. At the at the start of Raw, they had the whole Roman Reigns, you know, leukemia announcement, which was heartbreaking. They had the Shield brothers come out, and they had they all had a you know a big hug, and the the three of them were emotional. I mean, Seth Rollins was a mess. Dean Ambrose was holding it in, but you could see that he was emotional as well. Um, so it was such a heartwarming moment that was. Um, and then, sorry, you have Dean Ambrose do a heel turn at the end of Raw. Now, if it was up to me, I wouldn't have done that. Uh, I would have done what many people have suggested to do, and I would have had Roman Reigns stay to the end of Raw. When Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins won the Tag Team Championships, I would have had him come out, I would have had them have a group hug again, uh, you know, they get all emotional stuff for that, and it would have been a great way to end Raw. Instead, they had Dean Ambrose. Fair enough, it was one of the greatest heel turns for the in the last few years. Um, but still, they had Dean Ambrose at the end of Raw. When at the start of Raw, they were all like you know brothers, and there was no sign of a heel turn. You know, they were all very emotional, hugging each other. To all to the end of Raw, where Dean Ambrose turned on Seth Rollins. Now, I don't know if it's a full heel turn because they are tag team champions at the end of the day. So I don't know what's going to happen with that. But I don't want to get into that. What I'm talking about is how disgusted I am with WWE that they, that they decided to do a heel turn of Dean Ambrose on the same Raw that Roman Reigns came out and said he got leukemia and had to go away had to go away for a while while he fight while he fought cancer. Um, I think it's a disgusting move from WWE. I think it's completely classless, and um, and I just I, I don't understand the thinking. And the thought behind doing that, then I'm not saying they shouldn't do the, the they shouldn't have done the heel turn. Maybe postpone it for a week and do the heel turn next week, or the week after, whatever. But they didn't have to do it on the same night that Roman Reigns said that he had to go away for a while because he had leukemia. It's completely classless and disgusting by WWE. Now a lot of you might disagree and might think, well, you know, you know, it was the perfect opportunity to do it because you know we saw them at the start of Raw with it. Oh, everything's fine with them. You know, they're not going to split up. And then they do it, so it's a complete shock. But it's not a complete shock to me because it's been coming for a while. I knew he was going to do a heel turn. Did I expect it on the same role that Roman Reigns announced he had leukemia? No, I didn't. But I knew it was coming soon. Um, and had Roman Reigns not announced that he had leukemia and Dean Ambrose had had a heel turn, I wouldn't have had a problem with it because heel turns are part of WWE. They're part of the business. So I would, I you know, I wouldn't have had a problem with it. And plus, I was expecting it. But the fact that Roman Reigns at the start of Raw announces that he's got leukemia. They come out, they hug like everything's fine, and then at the, I know it's all a storyline and it's all a show and stuff like that, and they, and they, and you know, it wasn't anything personal or anything like that. 
but then at the end of Raw for Dean Ambrose to completely forget what happened at the start of Raw and turn on Seth Rollins, I think it's a complete disgusting move from WWE. And if I was Rollins and Dean Ambrose, I would have refused to have done that on the same Raw that my brother had just announced that he got leukemia. But that's up to them. I'm just very, very pissed off with WWE, as I said, to the point where I'm very, very close to not watching WWE anymore. But I'm going to continue for the time being, so I want to see how this Dean Ambrose heel turn goes, and I want to see how it goes with the Tag Team Championships. Plus, I want to watch SmackDown, which is on in about two hours. Um, so I'm not going to stop watching WWE, but I'm pissed off to the point where I was very close to stop to stop him watching WWE, but, yeah, so there will be no WWE review this, this week, for two reasons, one, I think it's, I don't think it's disrespectful to do it because of what happened with Roman Reigns, I just don't feel up to it, and two, I'm just very pissed off with WWE to the point that I just don't want to do a WWE review, um, but yeah, I, I don't really know what else to say, um, I'm hoping that like, SmackDown's going to be very upbeat tonight and get us all laughing and joke and you know lots of different stuff to kind of cheer us up after we what what we heard on on SmackDown, but we'll see we'll we'll see what happens on SmackDown, but um, yeah, um, WWE reviews will return next week um, definitely. I'm probably going to do some reaction videos on Thursday and Friday. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say a hundred percent. I will because I don't want to promise and then not deliver. So I'm not gonna promise that that's what's gonna happen. I'm just that's what I'm hoping is gonna happen. But don't you know? Don't be like, oh, that means that you're definitely gonna do them. And when you don't see videos off on Thursday and Friday, if I don't decide to do them, don't be like, oh, well, you promised because I'm not promising. I'm just that's that's what I hope is that's what I hope is gonna happen. But anyway, I hope you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you want more videos from me, whether it be WWE reviews or reaction videos, hit the sub subscription button down below, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.